This next video is about cleaning out the catalytic combustor. So the only reason I know it needs to be cleaned is because I check the temperature and usually with this thing, the airflow wide open, I get this to a thousand degrees. Over the past couple of uh, days or weeks, I've noticed I have to open it more and more and more just to get the temperature up at 500 degrees. I know if I open the flue, the air can go up really easily and it can heat up. But when the, when the, the f is closed, it can't go through the catalytic combustor because it's clogged. I'm gonna check the temperature now, 82 degrees. You don't wanna do this hot. I turned it off last night, so I'll show you how this is done. So there's a little gap right here in the front. You reach up, and I'm doing this with no gloves, no sleeves. It's not hot. And I want to be able to grab the edge. You can feel the insulation. There it is. It fits in really tight. So there's no fan that pushes any air through. So any blockage, even if it's not clogged tight, the air is not going to go through. This thing looks like a screen with like a long pores, about, I don't know, two inches long. I knew it. Can you see that? That's the only place that arrow is getting through. Everything else is just ashes building up. And about Halloween, November, December, there's about two months of running it. You can cause this to build up fast if you open the bottom ash pan and use cradle out of turbulence with ashes. You always want to keep it clean if you get smoke in there. Smoke is essentially floating ash and it'll build up. So I try not to blow it through because I think a lot of this stuff is just on the edge. Regular vacuum cleaner should just suck this out. Right along the top, there's a thin layer of uh, insulated foam. It's the fireproof stuff. So you don't want to suck that out. So I'm real careful if I do it. I press on it from the top. I'll clean this up real quick first <clears throat> and on top, and then I'll get it. In the, in the So you can see it got maybe 80% of the dust, 90%. You can see some of these holes are still partially clogged, filled. And I didn't want to go get my shop vac, but I'm gonna because uh, my shop vac's got a little bit more power. I'll bring my shop vac, I'll clean this up real nice, and we'll put it back in. Okay. I ran my shop vac through this. Pulled a little bit more dirt through, but the shop vac filter might be clogged, so it's not pulling really hard. I have a wire. This wire is from uh, keeping insulation up in uh, floor joists. I put a little bit of electrical tape on it, just to make it a little bit wider, so it fits through these holes. And the electrical tape is not on there real smooth, so it leaves a little bit of lip. Wrapped around just kind of one and a half times, and it's made this wire a little bit wider so that I can really ream these things clean. And that'll make a huge difference from being clean or dirty. I mean, you saw from vacuuming how much it did. I figure if I'm going to clean it, might as well clean it, right? So I don't know, this takes five or ten minutes, but I think it's uh, completely worth it. And I just go one at a time, pushing any ashes through. You have to be careful because this material is not made of metal. It's made of like some kind of hard, hardened ceramic. And this piece online, if I break something, this piece is like $350. So I don't want to break it. I'm being super careful. Just uh, pushing any dirt and dust through and you can see, see how much dirt and dust fell down already. It's kind of like this on both sides. But I just want to keep going one by one and I'll clean this out. I'll vacuum it one more time. And then I'll put it back in. So clean this thing out pretty good. It's 101 
by 13 and I couldn't get to the last row because it was a little low and you can see I can see right through it and you can see how much dirt got cleaned out from the surface area that's significant because this is the catalytic combustor this is what I guess burns the nitrous oxide coming through the stove so uh, hopefully it lasts more than two months but no big deal 20 minutes going through that and I'll be putting it right back in